coming off a three and two week. Um, had two real good road wins um, leading into Friday night. Really played good Friday pitch, played defense. Well, we've been playing good defense through this this stretch. I think we got maybe only one error uh, in this stretch. So that was one of the things we wanted to do is continue to pitch, continue to play good defense. Um, the disappointing thing is not winning the series, not finishing uh, and winning the two out of three. That's your ultimate goal in any series. Uh, if you can get them in order, then, of course, you want to try to sweep somebody. Um, so that was the only disappointing thing is not being able to come back and, and, and finish. Um, but, you know, we, we've got to continue to work. I think the biggest difference for me in looking at this is, you know, you look at our road. We hit 288 on the road, uh, 471 slug, and 378 on base percentage. But then at home, we dipped to a 199 average with a 275 slug and a 316 on base. So I think that's the biggest key right there is we've got to, we've got to do better at home. We have two, two home games this week, which will give us a chance to do that. So I think we've got to get better at swinging the bat consistently at home. Um, and then our ERA has been very good. Our starter's ERA has been 2.72 and then 5.29 out of the bullpen. So uh, I think those are the two things. We just got to continue to get better, um, you know, throughout this season. We're almost one-third of the way, roughly, I guess, 18, if you want to call it somewhere near, is about a third of the way. So you win a third, you lose a third in this game. It's what you do at your last or your other third that's important. So... Those are the areas I think we got to grow in um, to, to, to be left standing at the at the end. We can't just hit on the road and be physical on the road. It's good to do that, but it, we also got to be able to come home and and do it at our own ballpark too. This week opposes some some issues because we've got to realign the pitching for this weekend because it is conference. Last week, the, the last couple weeks, we didn't have to worry about that too much, but we will have to worry about this weekend because of conference. Um, so Tuesday and Wednesday is going to be important. We're going to need to score some runs because we'll throw some freshmen, some inexperienced guys to make sure that we line up the weekend uh, where we need to line it up. So questions you might have. Yeah, again, I, I talk to them face to face. So, so, you know, we'll throw some inexperienced guys. Um, every Monday is the same for us. We ID soreness and, 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 and go through that. And then we start to come up with who, who's going to start for us. And you'll have some of our other arms all throw an inning maybe or, or two at best, somewhere in there, depending on their soreness. So we'll try to bridge the games. The big key is the younger guys that, that do lack a little bit. Well, they've got some experience, but, uh, you know, they're, they're still freshmen, but they need to get out. Uh, Schultz really pitched well for us on the road as a freshman. When you can get five innings and a start like that on the road from a, from a true freshman, that was big. So we'll need some of these other guys, uh, as you mentioned, to, to really step up for us and, and eat up some innings for us and continue to grow up. That's the best way to grow them up is to put them out there and put them, uh, put them under some, some extreme pressure. Yeah, I think it's good. I think, you know, a, a lot of times home can protect you. Uh, our pitchers have thrown uh, the younger guys good at home. Uh, they haven't thrown as good on the road. Now, Schultz, um, B. Schultz really pitched well on the road the other night. They need to st still grow on the road also. But having to throw it in our own ballpark, uh, sometimes can help them because that's where they're familiar at. That's where they pitch in inter-squad games. Uh, that's where they do their work every day. So sometimes that can be a little bit more protective for them than the road. Could Cox pitch in? It was the first time that he threw more than the one last week. Could he give you maybe more to help break cover 18 innings? Or yeah, no, he could He could do that. He's a guy that started in junior college, so he could – he could hopefully uh, help us, you know, bridge some innings, no doubt. What, what is the – have you had many years where this this is not a tough ballpark to get out of your own zone? Where, how unusual is it that you're a better road team than, than you think you are? I, I don't know. I mean, th through my years, this ballpark 
sometimes until the turf gets really hot and the ball starts jumping a little bit, it, it can play big. Um, but, you know, the road sometimes, depending on where you go, you know, McNeese, the ball travels there real good. Nichols, the ball doesn't travel there real good. Every ballpark's differently. Um, and I think the hitters know that when they take BP. Um, but, you know, you have to, you know, do what they did, you know, going into Sunday, they made some adjustments. They cut lazy fly balls out and they stayed on top of the ball and used the middle of the field. Um, that's the whole key to this, I think, is being able to make the adjustment mentally and physically to hit the ballpark you in. Um, it's as simple as that. If we go to Nichols, uh, we were able to win at Nichols. You know, we didn't have the, the wind was blowing out a little bit, but it is a tough place to score a lot of runs. But we stayed on top of the baseball and we did the little things that it took. We had chances Saturday, you know, to get two out hits. We just didn't get clutch two out hits. They did on Sunday. Every time we got to two outs, they would run one ball back up the middle of the field for a base hit. And, you know, they made some good adjustments. They used the middle of the field. And some of our pitches got out of the lane. When guys start to make adjustments like that and sit in the middle of the field, you have to start busting back in. And we left some pitches out over the plate. And those are the balls that travel up the middle. Um, if, you, if you lane a little better and get it in, keep it in, it turns out sometimes to be a fly ball to right field. So I think it's all nothing but a mental thing. It's just an adjustment. I think that's what happens. I think, um, you know, they were uh, talking to Jackie Bradley Jr. the other day. Uh, he was mic'd up in a, uh, a game, and they asked him where he hits the best, and he said Seattle. They'll all tell you where they like hitting, and they'll all tell you where they don't like hitting. So I think that's more mental than physical. So you got to just be able to get through that physical, uh, mental barrier and understand that, hey, I'm in this ballpark. This is the way it's playing today, and I've got to be able to make my adjustments as hitters. Is there any other line relieving that gives more pressure when you get on third base rather than the line? Or is there oh, I, I, no, I think, I think no matter what, your home is always your higher standard because um, – that's kind of where you're known. That's where all the people are that, you know, the, the mom and the dads and the, and the friends and the people that want tickets and everything else. I mean, I think all professional athletes will tell you that, you know, that's, that's where there's more pressure just simply because that's where the standard is. When you get on the road, it, it's one of those things that, you know, you don't have as many people there. Nobody's asking you for tickets. Uh, you, you don't have a lot of your fans there. People are kind of against you there, not for you. And so it's kind of one of those things things that um, you, 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 you're you expected to, to know that, hey, I'm on the road, so whatever happens, happens. And I think sometimes you free your mind and you free yourself up and you, you swing with more bat speed and, and you play looser. I think um, – um, when you get it home, sometimes that can that can that can happen. But you got to be mentally tougher than that. I mean, you got to be able to work through that, and 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 get through it. If the standards are too high for you and the pressure is too high for you, then you know maybe you shouldn't have came here. Well, you know, first of all, he was such a great hitter, you know, and and his career, and uh, he teaches hitting. They, they, they've been good uh, through the last couple of years when he's gotten there. He's resurrected that program. Their recruiting has upgraded. And, um, you know, they, they play hard. They play fast. They, they try to get physical at the plate with you. So, again, we, we've always really worried about us. But, but I do have respect. I got respect for everybody, not only in just this state, but, but just in baseball. That's why there's so much parity today in baseball. There's a lot of guys doing a good job of coaching, good job of recruiting. Um, assistant coaches that were with uh, frontline coaches for years have broken off now and, 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 and started their own programs, no matter where that program was. 10, 15 years ago, uh, all the coaches kind of stayed with, with their mentor for a long, long period of time. Now, because the pay in baseball is higher, uh, people are building nicer facilities, um, and, and it's good for the game. It's, it's, it's spread the game out. And um, you, there's no longer just taking the field, throwing your hat out there and saying, well, we ought to be able to take care of these guys tonight. Believe me, um, you got to come play every night in baseball. Uh, the coaching's good. The recruiting's good. Uh, our, our sport's fighting to get another coach that's going to put, you know, more emphasis on recruiting with an extra helper, more emphasis on analytics, um, a lot of people are getting smarter. 
uh, in the game. They're taking average pitches and pitchers or, or putting them on analytics and shaping pitches. They're learning how to tunnel better. Um, they're, they're learning what causes, you know, good pitching. And so there's a, there's a lot of information out there and a lot of people that are doing a lot of things in baseball. And I, and I just think that's what's making um, so much parity in the game today. So this would be tough. The USM's very well coached. They're, they're good. I mean, there's no let up on, on this schedule, but that's, that's, that's how we created it. I mean, it's, it's like a melting point, right? As I try to tell the team all the time, you put some chocolate candy bar on your dashboard, there's a melting point, you know, I mean, it's going to melt pretty quick, but you can put a clay pot in an oven and it can take two, three, four, five hundred, 500, you know, Fahrenheit temperature and it hardens. So, so you got to decide what you're going to be. I mean, you're going to be, you know, a clay pot. Are you going to be a chocolate candy bar? I mean, where, where's your breaking point? Where's your melting point? I mean, uh, everybody has a different melting point. And so what we have to do is, is uh, we've been, I've been very fortunate 30 something years. Some years you get off to good start. Some years you don't have injuries. I mean, every year is a different year. That's why I love Saban's uh, quote at the end of a national championship when they say, hey, do you think you're going to win it again next year? He said, I don't know. It's going to be a different team. So every year is a different thing. Every year is a different thing to slay. Um, and, and you have to slay it if you want to be left standing at the end. Injuries, they tough to get over. Um, uh, it is what it is. But the, the mental part of things, um, you know, the, the, the mental toughness, those kind of things, those are the things you want to try to get through. And I just think if we hit better at home and, and we just don't go as dry, you know, we went 15-something innings with only one run. We had chances, first and third, one out, you know, didn't get a guy in. Uh, we we got to learn that, you know, you can't just squeeze your way to Omaha. I mean, sooner or later, you can't be a team that's hitting under 200 at home. I mean, pitching's going to only do you so good. You can only, you know, you throw a shutout on Friday, well, you should win. I mean, you, they didn't get a run. But all starters aren't going to always have their best stuff. Both starters, I thought, were, were having some big misses. Um, but what they did do is they never really let the game get away. You know, they got, they got two hung on them, but we stayed away from the three-run inning. It was a bullpen that came in, and we gave up, I think, four runs, you know, in the fifth and the sixth. We came in in the ninth and gave up two runs on Saturday. But when you hit under 200 and your slug's only 275, you're going to be stuck at first base all the time. When you look at us on the road with a 471 slug and a 288 batting average, if our whole team was 288 and 471 slug and 378, we wouldn't be right here. I can guarantee you that we wouldn't be right here. The problem is we got it. We got it. We got to balance this thing out a little bit more and not have so many non-competitive at bats and non-competitive innings, in you know, at home. Um, and, 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 you know, that's the big thing I think we got to solve. And our, our bullpen needs to continue to grow and develop and try to be a little bit more stingy. Our starting pitching has been really stingy, but the bullpen hadn't been as stingy. Mike's been very good. Um, you know, Caleb Armstrong came in and really did a good job for us when, when the thing was spinning out of control on us at McNeese. Um, uh, so, so those are the two areas I think that we got to continue to grow in. Swing the bat better at home, be more physical at home, and then uh, continue to lower that ERA out of the bullpen. Well, I think just keep going back out there. And, um, you know, we know our starting pitching has been good. We know that will be lined up for the weekend. We know Jay Schultz has been good. B. Schultz has been good. Lamont's been good. So we're growing some arms for the weekend that can help us out of the bullpen. Um, and, and, and I know we swing the bat well on the road. Um, I just think what we've got to do is be able to come out the next two nights and get some of these young guys to eat up innings. They might not throw a no-hitter or a shutout, but, but get better at not letting innings spin out of control and get better at pitching against the three-run inning because that's that's what our whole pitching system calls for. That's what Gunner goes out and do. That's what all the successful pitchers here have done is they pitched away from the three-run inning. 
And that's what you have to do. You cannot ask pitchers to go out and throw shutouts at home every time they go out to take the field. That's, that's pitching under too much duress. Eventually, they'll collapse at the end of the season having so much duress on them all the time. They've got to be able uh, to have a little bit of wiggle room from time to time and know that if I give up a run, I'm going to be okay. Or if I give up a run early in the game, I'm going to be okay as compared to thinking that, hey, you know, I can't give up one run. If I give up one run, I'm going to lose. Um, that's, that's too difficult to go out there. That's not what we pitch against or preach against. Our whole pitching system is based off pitching against the three-run inning, not throwing shutout innings. Good. Good. Well, again, they're well coached. Uh, they're a good baseball team. They always swing the bat good. So, um, again, we've got to keep our defense where it is right now. We've, we've played very good defense through this stretch. Um, and, and we're going to need it because, again, we're going to need some hitting. I said at the beginning of the year, we were the oldest with the hitters. That's, that's where we were the oldest. Um, I didn't expect the Stones and all those guys to come out and have a, you know, a one ERA. They're freshmen. What I did expect, though, is that hopefully our older guys can protect them with the hitting and the defense. So far, our defense has been good. I just think we've got to just swing the bat better at home and continue to grow the freshman pitchers and being able to pitch against the three-run inning and not let an inning spin out of control. Are you going to continue kind of experimenting with the leadoff hitter and then Brennan kind of in that piece? And or what does that look like? Yeah, it's just our biggest issue is, is lack of RBI producers. Um, guys that can hit under duress, guys that can hit under pressure, guys that can hit with two outs. That's the biggest thing. If you look at our RBIs, I mean, there's some guys in the, in the country that already have 25, 30, something RBIs. I mean, we, we barely got a, some guys in double digits in RBIs. We got we to gotta be able to drive in runs throughout the lineup if it's not going to be, hey, this is our RBI producer. And we're going to have to, you know, get better. I just think one through nine and just protecting each other at home. On the road, we've done a lot better job. We've reached base. Our, our, our on-base percentage is almost 400. Our slug is 471. we got guys that are hitting the ball out of the ballpark and, you know, off the wall and in the gaps. And we get home, it's kind of like we, we, we shrink up. And, and I think that's the difference maker. Um, is that we got to get out of being kind of Jekyll and Hyde. We talk about that all the time with pitchers, right? You want – Gunner's going to – Gunner might not win every Friday night, but the one thing Gunner's going to do is is more than likely be Gunner. And that's what you really want out of out of your lineup, you know, as compared to, to you know, an up-and-down situation. They do fail 70% of the time. I get it. Um, but you want to try to have some type of consistency – throughout your lineup. So you might see us move one or two things. I think I think I think we have the right players. I just think the thing we've got to do is guys have to get better at at, at, at adjusting throughout a ball game, adjusting out throughout a weekend. Um, because you're facing better arms. So you have to adjust. When you when you grab midweek arms, a lot of time midweek arms are pitching in the midweek for a reason, unless somebody's got enough starters to just say, hey, you know, here's my Tuesday starter, here's my Wednesday starter, we have five starters. If you look at college baseball, everybody carries about 15, 16 pitchers on the staff, but they pitch eight deep. All coaches will tell you that. When you average out the year, the average comes out to eight. Those are the guys that get most of the work because they've been most of the consistent. Then you've got what's – called unusable arms, which is what you don't want to have. Then you have your injuries. Then you've got your guys that get pushed to the middle of the week. And those are the guys that sometimes you don't know what you're going to get. Um, they're either auditioning, getting work, experiencing, growing up. So, so when you get midweek arms, sometimes it's harder for them you know, to really backwards pitch and start to adjust off of what you're doing because they have midweek arm. When you hit your Friday, Saturday, Sunday arms – those guys are good. Gunner's going to adjust to what you're doing to him. He just is. And so you have to have that counterbalance, you know, that you can't just swing one way for nine innings and and hope that things are going to change. I mean, you have to be able to make in-game adjustments, at, at bad adjustments. Uh, you know, we struck those guys out 13 times Friday night. You're not going to win many times when you strike 13 times out or more, right? But then after that, they made some serious adjustments.
and they started to use the middle of the field. They put pressure on us on Sunday. We started to jump to the other side of the plate because what they were doing, and we left some pitches in the middle of the plate. That's what this cat and mouse game comes down to. If they don't make an adjustment, we can pitch the same way we pitched Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and it had been good enough. The difference maker was they, they made some adjustments. And we have to continue to do that uh, throughout our lineup, you know, get rid of lazy fly balls, get rid of strikeouts, and make, make adjustments as we go, you know, throughout the ballgame.